Forgive the intrusion, but I have nowhere else to turn. What do you need? My wife was a Marine. She was in the 212 on Eden Prime. The 212? Isn't that Ashley's unit? She might want to meet Mr. Bhatia. I've requested that my wife's body be returned to me for cremation, but the military has refused my request. I can put in a word with the Embassy and speed things along. The man in charge of my case is Mr. Bosker. When I last saw him, he was in the expensive bar over there. Thank you for your time. I just want to give my wife a proper funeral, and the respect she deserves. My goodness, you're Commander Shepard. Your activities made for quite a briefing in the Diplomatic Corps. Is there something I can do to assist you? You can cut the red tape for a grieving husband. I want you to release the body of Nerali Batya. Commander, nothing would make me happier. I'm afraid, though, that it's not quite that simple. Serviceman Nerali Batia died on Eden Prime, as Mr. Batia no doubt told you. Her wounds are inconsistent with any type of weapon damage we've seen before. That is why her body is being held. You're studying her injuries to learn more about Geth weaponry. The tests we're conducting may lead to better defenses against Geth attacks. Respectfully, Serviceman Batia may save more lives in death than she did in life. How long do you think this research is going to take? This is a long-term study. I wouldn't expect the bodies to be released for a year or longer. You know who and what I am. If I want Nerali Batya, I can get her. Commander, I, I don't think threats are necessary. Even if the body were here on the Citadel, would you really risk going in shooting to get it? You said you'd been briefed on me. You should know that I don't leave fallen troops behind. All right, Commander. You win. It was hard enough refusing Mr. Batia. I'm not going to risk an incident by refusing you. Tell Samesh that the body is being shipped back to Earth. I'll go now to see to it myself. Hello again, Commander. Has there been any word? Your wife is coming home, Mr. Batia. Thank you. I will return home and begin my preparations. It does not bring me happiness, but it may bring me peace. Goodbye, Commander. I got a tour. One of 500 to see the Ascension from the inside out. Really? It took almost six hours and we only saw one-tenth of the ship. I even got to meet the Commander. Matriarch Ladanya? You met her? Well, she addressed everyone on the tour, but I got pretty close to her. Huh, just look at that ship. You'd have to be stupid to mess with that. Very true. She's got almost as much firepower as the rest of the Asari fleet combined. Hopefully, she'll never need to use it. Word on the street is that you've been busy. Congratulations on taking down Fist. I was sure he was a big player in anything going on here. Did you find anything in his office that could help me? These OSDs might have the information you're looking for. <sighs> you've got Fist files? This could be even bigger than I'd hoped. Here, Commander, for your trouble. What would my future cooperation be worth? Say, an interview when my investigation is over? Exclusive? You talk to me before you talk to anyone else? That would be worth quite a bit, and I'd be very happy to compensate you accordingly. Here you are. Now, if you'll excuse me, I should go see what's on these discs. I need those supplies for my clinic. I can't. You can and you will, or your story won't stay secret for long. Don't disappoint me, Doctor. Oh, Commander Shepard. I didn't see you come in. Who is that on the vid? What do they want? Someone from my past. I can take care of it. I might be able to help you. 
I was fired by my previous employer for giving out free medical supplies to clinics like this. They never filed any charges, they just wanted me to leave without any fuss. But somebody must have found out. Now they are blackmailing me. I have to give them what they want. If the board finds out about my past, I could lose my license, they'll shut my clinic down. Maybe I can get you out of this. Tell me what they want. I have to give some of my medical supplies to a merchant in the markets. They expect delivery today. Give me your contact's name. I'll deal with this guy, whoever he is. Deal with him? But won't they expose my past? I'll make sure they don't tell anyone. I was told to speak with a merchant named Morlan, down in the markets. I really appreciate this, Commander. Thank you. Don't worry, I'll take care of this. Good luck, Commander. Be careful down there. Hello there! Welcome to Moreland's famous shop. You want many good supplies, yes? You were expecting a delivery of medical supplies. But I was told the doctor would be bringing them. Change of plans. A change, but... the doctor... I don't... This is not right, human. Shut up, Moreland. I told Baines you'd screw this up. What the hell's going on here? Who are you? Leave the doctor alone, or you'll have to deal with me. We can end this if you just bring me those supplies. Otherwise, I'll start telling people about the doctor's little secret. Her secret stays buried, or I bury you. Hey, hold on! I'm just the middleman here. This is way more than I bargained for. Thank you, human. It is good to see him humbled so. What do you know about Baines? I have never met him, human. I only worked with the one who spoke with the doctor. Goodbye. Commander, how did things go? He won't be bothering you anymore. Really? That's a great relief, Commander. Thank you. I can't pay you for your help, but I can give you a discount on any supplies you purchase here. That's very generous of you. I just wish I knew how this all started, how this thug found out about my... past. He spoke of someone named Baines. Baines? I wonder if he means Armiston Baines. We worked together a long time ago. What can you tell me about him? Last I heard, the Alliance military was contracting him for some research in the Traverse. Captain Anderson might know him. We'll see what the Captain can tell us. I wish I could tell you more. Is there anything else I can help you with, Commander? I'll be going now. Hello, Spectre. I have a business proposition for you. I've got plenty to do already. Of course you do. But this would be easy work for you and I pay extremely well. I'm acquainted with a pair of powerful crime bosses. They're hiding on remote worlds and I have the coordinates. You could do the galaxy a favor. What crimes did these men commit? They're red sand dealers who make victims of their customers. Those who can no longer pay are sold to Batarians as slaves. They're loathsome, hurting innocent people. They must be ended. If they're as bad as you say they are, they need to be dealt with. Excellent. Here are the coordinates. When these men are dead, I will wait for you at the third set of coordinates. Goodbye, Commander. It's been a pleasure to meet you. Congratulations, Shepard. Heard they made you a Spectre. I'm glad somebody got the Council to see Saren for what he really is. I appreciate that, Garrus. I resigned from CSEC after the Council ignored my investigation. I was sick of all the politics. You're the only one who seems to be doing anything about Saren. Let me come with you. You're a Turian. Why do you want to bring him down? 
I couldn't prove it in my investigation, but I knew what was really going on. Saren is a traitor to the Council, and a disgrace to my people. Welcome aboard, Garrus. You won't regret this, Shepard. Coming up in a report later today, Emily Wong investigates corruption on the Citadel and uncovers a full-blown crime syndicate.